In 2013, we sold our house in the city, packed up our six kids, and moved to a tiny home on 30 acres. Our dream was to get back to a simpler, healthier lifestyle. Six years later, and three more kids, we now raise chickens, goats, Great Pyrenees, and try to expand our garden every year. We are the Cush family. Welcome to our farm. Today we're going to head out on our property and start harvesting some... No, no, no! Don't eat food. that! Hey everyone, uh, this is just a quick video that we're gonna do to kind of show you how we do some foraging around the property. One thing that we really wanna highlight, uh, then the reason why we moved out here was because we like involving our children in this process. So as we go through this video, that's one of the things we're gonna really highlight about what, what our process is. Okay, so when selecting the berries, you want to try and get an even size and shape, especially if you're dehydrating them in a dehydrator, because then they will evenly dehydrate and you won't have to worry about some drying faster than others. So um, they're a light bluish color, which is kind of powdery. Uh, so as soon as you touch them, they're kind of like a deep purple co color as that light blue powder uh, brushes off. And they're about the size of a pea, like a green pea. Uh, you want some that are round and plump. You don't really want the small ones or the ones that are already shriveling up or anything that has a hole or a crack in it because that could indicate bugs. This is our first year to harvest juniper berries. So we looked up a few strategies online. We've been out here a couple days this week already. Um, you need a blanket or a sheet, a bucket or a bowl or something to collect the juniper berries in, maybe some gloves because they are kind of pokey yeah. and lots of help, especially help with little fingers. Yes, may... the little fingers help a lot. <laughs> Let's go find it. or rather the whole tree. It did not work as well as we thought it would. Uh, we got a lot of debris and uh, a few berries. <laughs> a lot more debris than berries, but it was fun anyway. Okay, so uh, one of the other strategies that we had seen was you can take a pair of pruning scissors and just nip off uh, the branch where the most of the uh, good berries yeah. are and you can gather the small ends of the branches first and then you can go off and separate them later. We found that uh, just hand picking out of the tree was the best option because we could be selective up front rather than having to sift through lots of berries and throw out a lot uh, of berries that weren't uh, the right size or shape. So you can either do it fast and gather a whole bunch right away, but then you're gonna have to spend a lot of time separating them later. Or you can just kind of be more selective when you pull them off the tree to begin with. That process does take a little bit longer, and especially when you're working with little kids, sometimes they don't grab the right ones. However, it seems to be kind of the most fluid process because you don't have to go back and separate them later. So you got you might just have to experiment with it yourself and see what strategy works the best for you. So juniper berries have kind of a peppery flavor with a hint of pine. So they're most often used uh, in seasonings or rubs. And so therefore, to when you harvest them, you want to dry them. If you're just laying them out in a sunny window to dry, it's probably going to take about three weeks to dry. Uh, we're right now experimenting with our new dehydrator to see the right temperature and length of time because there's just not a lot of information about that online. 
Um, yeah, apparently drying juniper berries is not as popular as it may <laughs> seem. So it's hard to find information. So we're experimenting with it and we'll do another video on that later. And then uh, other uses that you have is you can take the fresh berries and make uh, jam. Uh, you can also use the fresh berries or dried berries to make uh, tea with the juniper berries, which is supposed to help those who have the seasonal allergies with the juniper trees. Okay, so whenever we have our kids involved in, in these types of processes, whether it's cooking, whether it's cleaning, whether it's gathering stuff on the property, you have to expect things are not always gonna work the way you want. Sometimes they fall right in line and they follow instructions exactly the way they're supposed to. And sometimes it's absolute chaos and it takes four times longer than it should. But this is part of the process. You learn as a parent to have, how to interact and do these things a little bit better. At the same time, they learn and have fun in the process. And so uh, that's all part of the experience and part of what we're trying to encourage our kids to be a part of here on the farm. So thanks for joining us on our foraging video today. Uh, I hope you learned a little bit about Juniper, a little bit about doing these things with your family. Like I said, it's not always perfect as you can hear from the screaming Banshee baby in the background, but that's how it goes when we do things with the family. Um, but again, these are things that are beneficial. They learn together, you cooperate together, and it's a process I think that's fun for everybody. As usual guys, like the, and su subscribe to the channel. Also in the comments below, uh, give us the timestamp and your favorite part of the video as well when you're done. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.